Okay, well, welcome this week uh, to our next topic. We're going to talk about probability. Okay, so earlier in the semester, we did a little diagram, looked like this with our population, our sample, and then we had these sets of arrows. We had an arrow coming up, so if we take a sample, we're making conclusions about the population, that's a statistic. And if we have a, instead we know the population and we're trying to decide what the sample would be, then that is probability. And that's what we're going to focus on today. We're going to focus on this probability uh, end. So when we talk about probabilities, lots of things come to mind, things like uh, drawing uh, cards from a, from a deck or rolling dice. Um, we can talk about you know what is the probability of the next event and we can talk about those things so we know that a probability has to be greater than or equal to one we'll put a probability and less than or equal to one so greater than or equal to zero less than or equal to one that like defines what a probability is and when we talk about probability we need to define what's known as our sample space. So I'll write that as this kind of capitalized S. This is our sample space. And this is all possible outcomes of, um, of whatever we're interested in. Rolling a dice, flipping a coin. Um, the sample space is all possible outcomes. So sample space, we can put that in. All possible outcomes. And then within there, we're interested in events, usually done by another capital letter. We'll use A for right now. This is going to be our event space. And these are going to be all outcomes of interest. So if we roll a dice, we can imagine that our sample space would be defined as one, two, three, four, five, and six. That would be our sample space. Maybe we're only interested in rolling an even number. So for the, our event space, that would be two, four, and six. Now if we're looking for the probability of event A, we can write it as such. Probability of event A is equal to Okay, so it's the number of outcomes in A divided by the number of outcomes in your sample space. All right, so that should be pretty easy to do. We can count the total number of outcomes for rolling our dice is 6 divided by the total number of outcomes in our event space, 3, or that would be 50%. So in a nutshell, this is what our probability is diving into is looking at our sample space and event space and seeing what is the probability of the next event happening. And so for this example that we had, the probability of rolling an even number on a fair six-sided dice is 50%.